there was a bocher who learned in the Radhani Yeshiva. And he decided to go for the Chodesh of Elul to learn in pre-war Europe in Bialystok, the Yeshiva of Navarak. When he came to the Yeshiva of Navarak, he had to be accepted in the Yeshiva. He waited in the waiting room to speak to the Rosh Yeshiva, Rabbi Avram Yafin Zatzal. As he was waiting, the Rebetzin of Rabbi Avram Yafin, who was the daughter of the altar of Navarak, came into the room. She asked this bocher, why are you leaving Raden, where the Tzadik Hador is, the Chafetz Chaim, to come to Bialystok? The boy, who was the future of Yaakov Moshe Shurkin Zatzal, was tongue twisted. He didn't know what to answer. And the Rebetzin told him, I'll tell you what to say to the Rosh Hashiva when he asks you this question. In Raden, you see the Chafetz Chaim, the Tzadik Hador. You have what to aspire to. You see the perfection that a human being could reach. But you know what you learn in Navarok? In Navarok, you don't learn what you can become. You learn to respect who you are. Every person is a fusion of two parts. He is an aspiration of what he can become, and he has tremendous power in and of himself where he is. Every Yid has to have a moon in Hashem, you have to have a moon in the Torah, and you have to have a moon in yourself. If we respect ourselves for who we are, we respect ourselves as the Bnei Torah and the Er Yidin who are doing the Avodis Hashem, and that the world is standing on our shoulders, that will in and of itself give us the power to be able to curtail, to be able to control, to be able to cherish the world we live in and the special matanas and gifts that our Kodesh Baruch Hu gives us. And when we come to that akara, we come to that cognizance, then we'll be able to reach the aspirations that we all have for ourselves, our families, our children, our Talmidim, and the people around us.